Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. If you are new, my name is Em and it's good to have you. So today I thought I would do a video that quite a few people have done, but I thought I would do my own adaptation of it. Five things to start your designer collection with, or maybe you already have a designer collection and you just want a few nice little more affordable pieces. So I'm going to talk you through a few things that I think are great to kickstart your designer bag or designer accessories collection in your life. So I really hope you like this video. kick it off and start with item number one sunglasses so I personally don't think you can beat sunglasses as a first kind of step into the world of designer when I was younger one of the first things I bought were sunglasses I've always kind of been buying Ray-Bans I don't see Ray-Ban as designer but they're definitely still really good high-end middle-end sunglasses so here we have some Gucci's some YSL and some Celine sunglasses I actually true story this breaks my heart I lost these at a festival at Leeds festival and I had to rebuy them because I love them so much I had to go and rebuy them. I just think they're really nice. But yeah, I think sunglasses are just such a good way to dip your toes into designer. You get the little bag, you get them in the little box, you get the nice customer service experience if you go and buy them in their store. So you could go and buy these in Gucci or you could always go to World Duty Free because sunglasses are much more affordable there. I actually have some Dior sunglasses and I bought them at World Duty Free and got loads of money off. So I am a sucker for buying airport sunglasses. I think that's a good tip as well. I think you save like 30% sometimes, but I will also leave some links below to more affordable designer sunglasses because there are some very good websites for them. To get them discounted, you obviously can go for Ray-Ban. Ray-Ban, you can get them from like £50 now, which is really, really good. Um, I do tend to break sunglasses, so just make sure you look after them. But it is really nice to have a nice pair of designer sunglasses. So number two, purses. So I always kind of think that having a nice designer purse is well nice. So I used to have an amazing blue Gucci one, which is under the bed. And I actually might pull that out and start using that again. About a year ago, I got a YSL purse and it's nice, but it's actually a bit plain. I just fill it too big. That is my problem. The Gucci one was nice because it had a really nice floral print inside. But I think that is a good price point to start your designer collection with. You have it in your bag, you use it every day, so you're using it. I mean, some purses and wallets are just crazy. Some of them are like £700, £1,000. I really, really want a Louis Vuitton one, but some of the ones that I like are like £700 and I am not paying that for a purse. Whereas you can get kind of like YSL ones, Gucci ones from about, well, in the sale, you could get them from like £150 to £300, which if you're going to use it every day, that's actually pretty good for an intro to designer. I have absolutely battered this, which makes me kind of sad, but I always just wanted a plain YSL purse. So now maybe it's time to buy the Louis Vuitton one, but it's just a nice little pop of designer in your handbag. Speaking of purses, you can also get travel holders like this one. So me and my mom absolutely love these and we have gone through a few of them. This is the Aspinall Travel Wallet. So this is my favourite colour. Oh, look how nice it is. It's just organising. You could even just throw it in like your actual bag and use this on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't just have to use it when you're travelling. I think these start from about £150 in the sale. So again, really good if you keep an eye out for sales. And they do them in loads of really nice colours as well. It's just a really good organisation folder. Like I say, you could use it every single day. And I think it might be free to put your initials on. So it makes a really good gift as well. But just not too pricey, but still a nice designer. I feel that Aspinall is kind of mid-range designer. It's not your Louis Vuitton and it's not your Balenciaga but it's still a really nice designer product. You then also obviously got your card holders. My brother has a really nice card holder. I don't know if it's more of like a boy thing because I personally don't keep card holders but I know my friend Victoria loves card holders. I think she got a really good Dior one. I remember her telling me about it. So if you are just kind of like taking out a clutch bag or something it's a good way to just store your little things in there and again I've seen them on self just before. You could get YSL ones from like £100. So that's a nice little flash of YSL if you like the logo. Next up you could bet your life that I was going to feature this, a Burberry scarf. I think a good designer scarf is so good. It's such a good intro to designer. So Burberry is an amazing brand anyway and since getting this I got this on my 21st birthday. I have bought myself so much Burberry. I now have two Burberry coats and a bag and this because I've just fallen in love with the brand. This is what happens. You get an intro product and then you go down the deep dark hole of designer and then you fall in love. Make informed purchases only guys. 
size. I try to make sure that all of my designer purchases are actually purchases that are lifelong and purchases that I am really, really going to use and I like batter them because I get so much wear out of them. But this scarf, I've had it since I was 21, I've been wearing it every autumn since. I'm not that old, it's only been like three years since. But I absolutely love it. I just get so excited for autumn and winter because I can just wear this from pretty much September until March I can wear this in the UK or I'll just go to Germany and go to a Christmas market and wear it for a full week there as well. Keeps me so warm, it looks so 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 good and I think they are about £300 maybe from about £250, I will link them below. I get asked a lot if you can get this exact one discounted at Bista Village, you cannot. The ones that are discounted at Bista Village from what I've seen tend to be the kind of more limited edition ones, so like the really thick check ones or the different prints and patterns. The original one which is this one, I think it's only ever full price but I would highly recommend buying it if you are a scarf lover. If Burberry isn't for you there are other scarves you can buy I know that Gucci do nice scarves I'd say look on net porter I'll link some below um because they do have some nice designer scarves I have been tempted but I'm loyal to my Burberry anyone will watch Love Island I'm loyal what can I say next up another one guys I bet you guessed this Gucci belt we know how much I rave about Gucci belts but I couldn't do a video about key designer items to start your collection and not talk about the Gucci belt I mean I think the whole of the world has a Gucci belt but who cares it's beautiful I went for the big one the big badass one and actually well there is one a bit bigger but that would just be obscene <laughs> Actually, I want to get the small one because I think the small one looks really classy. It's a thinner belt and a thinner double G and it looks so classy. I also want the brown one as well. So I'll link that below if you guys want them. I've done a whole video talking about this belt. Yeah, that's the dedication, guys. A whole video about it. But to put it quickly without boring you too much, it goes so nice with a full black outfit. So it's perfect for winter. Over the right play suit or the right dress, you can also wear it. I just think it smartens up any outfit. Yes, it is very in-your-face design. It's got a double G on it, of course. I know some people might not like that, but a lot of people do like it. Guilty. So if you want to be like, hey guys, Gucci gang, put this on. I tend to wear it with plain black jeans, a plain black roll neck, and then just this in the middle, and I think it's really classy. I just think it adds that touch of looks and designer to any outfit really quickly and easily. It's also very good quality. I just really cannot rave enough about it. I think the brown one will actually be more versatile, so brown one is on my list. Oh, I nearly knocked myself out of it then. Oh my god, death by Gucci, blogger dies because she knocked herself out with a Gucci belt. Why am I like this? Okay, are we on number five already? One, two, three, four, five. We're on number five already. See you guys, I may not even have time to finish your cup of tea yet. Or whatever you're drinking, Prosecco maybe. Right, so number five, Dan. A nice little back. Myself and my boyfriend were in Munich years ago. I want to say like four years ago. And at this stage, I just had one Burberry bag. My pride and joy still have it. Absolutely love it. It tells such a nice story to me because it's a bag that I saved up by myself to buy. Independent woman. I waltzed into Selfridges, saw that it had 30% off, and I was like, I'm buying it. And I was just like, cried with happiness that I worked hard enough to buy that bag. And I think it's just very symbolic for me, which is so, it might sound so stupid to some of you, but if you guys like designer, you will feel me. You never Never forget your first designer bag purchase. Since then, I, I'm, I'm a very sensible shopper. If you watch my How to Save Money video and How to Save a Designer, link it below, you'll know. I'm just very sensible. I don't really go for trend-led pieces. I tend to go for like boring pieces that will last me. Exhibit A, exhibit B. So we're in Munich and I felt like just being a baller. So I walked into Longchamp and I was like, oh, I'll get this, this is really nice. You know what, it is actually a really nice bag. I don't know if Longchamp's that much of a thing anymore. I use their Longchamp plie shopper bag and absolutely love it. It's epic. But I don't really see many bloggers or people talking about Longchamp. But you know what, they are underrated and they are such a good, affordable intro to designer brand. As with all of these brands, you can start low and you can get mega, mega high. I'm sure Longchamp do crazy expensive bags. But this was about 250 euros. And I remember at the time thinking, oh my god, that is so expensive. Expensive. But yeah, it just, it was so special to me. I saw it, I wanted it, I needed it. And I think that's why I wanted to include a nice little bag. You don't have to go straight for Gucci. You don't, you don't have to spend a thousand pounds on a little side bag. You could go for a lovely long shot bag, which is so classy. I showed my brother this earlier and he was like, that's a really nice bag. You can go for an Aspinall bag. Aspinall is still pricey. And then obviously everyone has different circumstances. 250 pounds is not cheap. And I'm not saying it's cheap. I'm just saying on the grand scheme of designer things, 
things, it's not the same as spending 1,500 on a Gucci. So it's like affordable on the scale of designer. So yeah, you could get a little Aspinall, which, oh, Aspinall have such nice little bags and they're very good intros to designer. Again, starting from like 200 pounds. And I just think a nice little side bag is so good for your life. I tend to use them all the time to put like my phone in, to put my purse in, to put my money in if I'm popping to the shop. If I'm going shopping and I don't want to take a huge bag, even like to the gym and then I'll just pop it in the locker. The nicest gym bag ever. No, just like a serious bag that I know is going to be stuck to me that's going to have my valuables in. So you've obviously got your long shop and your Aspinall, which I would recommend. Marc Jacobs is also a very good lower priced kind of starter brand. And then you've got your YSLs, which absolutely gorgeous. And again, YSLs are a bit higher on the scale, but you can get a small YSL bag from about £500. They brought one out called the Blogger Bag. How amazing. I love that YSL love bloggers now. So I got this little black one. I got this in New York. I got this one in Oxford. And whilst I don't use these ones as much anymore because I got my new Gucci Marmont, which I pretty much use all day, every day, because it's an amazing size and it fits my life in it without being too big. These are such good kind of wardrobe staples. You can whack them around your shoulder if you're going on a flight. You can whack them around your shoulder whenever, basically. And then lastly, if you wanted something a bit bigger but you didn't want to get a Gucci Marmont and spend £2,000 on it, I mean, that could take you to Australia. I am that girl. I don't know. I just always overthink my designer purchases and I'm like, I could literally send my family to Australia for that price. The struggle is real. So you could also go for a nice Aspinall bag, a really nice side Aspinall bag. Again, these go in the sale for about 400, which is really good. And this is a really nice letterbox bag. So there we have it, guys. I hope you liked this video. And I just want to finish by saying, please don't ever feel any pressure to be like the Instagram girl and to fit in and buy designer items. We like designer items. If it gives you happiness, then go for it. If designer stuff isn't for you, then you don't need to feel that it has to be. Like it took me a long time to find things that I like. And I'm glad that I used my own kind of eyes. I think it's all about finding stuff that you genuinely like and that you're genuinely going to get use out of. Don't feel pressured. Remember Instagram, you are seeing it through rose tinted glasses. It really is like someone's highlights reel. So whilst the girl might look like she's really happy because she's got the Gucci mom on, you just don't know what might be going on in her life. And I do feel like it's my duty to say that to you guys. Like Burberry scarf, I love it, but it's not going to necessarily make you happy. It might be for the split moment that you buy it. But yeah, I just want to say that and I will leave my link below to kind of my video all about how to save for designer items because I do talk about that a little bit more which is why the majority of my stuff does tend to be more like neutral colours because then I think rather than it being trend led it's still on trend but you can get a lot more use out of it and then your starter designer stuff like I still have all of mine as you can see and it's kind of growing with me and I'm still using it to this day. Sorry for rambling, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, anything mentioned will be linked below. If you are new please do click subscribe, do leave a comment, let me know what your kind of favourite starter designer items are what was your first ever designer item you bought or if you haven't bought anything what do you have on your hit list what do you want to buy come say hi on instagram at mshellx and big love you guys thank you so much for always supporting me and watching me i can't explain how much your love and kindness means i know just every single one of you the regular commenters like it means everything to me so thank you goodbye guys